exactly one month since an 11 year old was shot and killed in the streets of South Bend. New for you at five o'clock, we are hearing from community activists as the boy's alleged killer remains at large. WSBT 22's Erica Fink is at the live desk for us now and Erica charges against the 18 year old suspect announced just last week. And the probable cause documents spell out why Dominic Williams Jr. was charged with murder and firearm enhancement, but what's still not known is if Tion Horston was the intended target. According to court documents, 11 year old Tian Horston was shot multiple times on April 20th in the 600 block of North Johnson Street. Witnesses told investigators a black male in all black clothing and ski mask was seen carrying a rifle after gunshots rang out. That man then took off in a white Dodge Charger. The documents also say the car broke down after a few minutes, which caused the suspect to start running, carrying multiple guns before being picked up by a white SUV. The charger was reported missing a short time after the homicide by its owner, who said 18-year-old Dominic Williams Jr. was the only other person who'd driven it. Cell phone records also placed Williams in the area when Tian died. This SUV's driver and passenger were later interviewed by police, who said Williams' clothes matched the suspect description. Williams has now been charged with murder, but he's still at large. Roosevelt Stewart lived near Tian and helped the boy through his advocacy group, Youth with Vision and Passion. It's heartbreaking because I think that he had a bright future uh, before him. He was different and, uh, and unique than the rest of the children uh, because he, he, he was a helper. Former police officer and current community activist Lynn Coleman says Tian's death was a hard one to deal with and he hopes anyone that knows where Williams is helps bring him to justice. This 18-year-old kid, wherever he's at, somebody knows him, uh, knows what's going on, and it's, it's not going to go away. At some point, uh, they need to make sure that he gets uh, turned in, gets off the street. Williams is believed to be armed and dangerous. South Bend police are continuing to investigate and anonymous tips can be submitted online through Michiana Crime Stoppers. At the Live Desk, I'm Erica Finke, WSBT 22 News.